Hola, soy el español de Fomer Rally Boy y hoy te voy a enseñar cómo preparar boquerones en vinagre. Pickled marinated anchovies, one of the most ubiquitous tapas in Spain. You can find it in every tapas bar, no matter which region you are in. And most frequently you will see them sitting on top of the bar in the refrigerated counters are very very common and they are there waiting to be served by the person behind the bar with a nice cool beer. Yet yeah, this recipe that I'm going to show you will bring boquerones to another level and you'll see it becomes such a delicacy when you cook them at home, when you make them at home. So without further ado, let me show you how to make them. We're going to need flat leaf parsley, garlic, extra virgin olive oil, vinegar, salt and the anchovies. In this case I'm using Bay of Biscay anchovies which are in season and are of the highest quality. Let me start showing you how to clean it. So first we're gonna pull the head of the anchovy itself downwards and some of the digestive system will come with it. Then run your finger slowly through the belly of the, the anchovy itself until it opens and then very carefully pull the spine. You can either leave it in one piece just like I did or you can as well just cut them in half and cut the tail with a paring knife. Don't be as, as, as rough as I've been, <laughs> but uh, which is normally how you would find them in the tap as well, just cut into half. And now we're gonna put them all into a bowl and we're gonna rinse them in water many times, probably a good seven, eight times. Just keep filling it and keep uh, cleaning them. The less debris, the less blood they have, the better. And one last time, what we're going to be doing now is keeping them in some cold water or icy water ideally, season them with a little bit of salt and put them in the fridge for a good hour or two again just to try to extract as much of that dirt as possible. I like seasoning my anchovies at this point and what it achieves is the texture is a bit more fleshy and the seasoning I feel is more integral as well to the anchovy and they don't turn as white in color after as well. Some people just season them at the very end just before the pickling but I like doing it now. Once you take them out of the fridge, rinse them one last time and you can see that they will be very clean by now. And we need to make sure that we pat dry them really well. So that's why I've lined some kitchen paper and I've put them skin side up just to make sure they absorb as much water as possible. Now I've lined a little bit of clean film on a baking tray and I'm going to put all my anchovies in there because it's really important that we freeze them for at least 24 to 48 hours. The reason why we do this is so that we kill a very common parasite that you find in fish like anchovies, sardines, uh, cod, hake called anisakid roundworm and it's very popular unfortunately it's more and more common to find these days and it's really important that when eating raw fish in a way even though this is pickled we freeze it in advance. So remove it out of the freezer and we are gonna prepare the pickle. So in this case I'm using white wine vinegar, some water and give it a little swirl and now I'm just gonna put the anchovies inside. They need to have ample space so they cure evenly on all sides. I don't like to line them to perfection because normally um, the skin stays on the bottom of, 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 the, of the tray and it doesn't allow it to, to pickle properly. So that's why I, 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 I make more of a swimming pool for my anchovies than, than probably most people do. Now rinse them with some cold water and again pat dry them to perfection. There is nothing worse than finding um, pickle anchovies with liquid in it. I like the marinade that comes with it, which is what I'm doing now. Just finely chop some parsley, slice some garlic, 
mix it with some good Spanish extra virgin olive oil and we are gonna leave our anchovies, marinate them for a good eight hours at least, but two or three days it's even better and they are ready to be enjoyed. This is one of Spain's greatest gifts, one that is ubiquitous and so popular and that I love enjoying with some potato crisps, as long as they are good ones. And uh, it's really a funny combination, but to me, it's a match made in heaven. So I hope you enjoy it as well. If you enjoy the video, please like it, share it and subscribe.